Once again, you are welcome to our YouTube channel at Noble High School and Online Lessons. Today, we shall be looking at test of all rules. And right here on the board, we have jam fast questions. <coughs> Under the first analysis, we shall be studying and analyzing year 1999, pages 26 to 28, then 29 to 31. We may also look at others under that uh, analysis. Okay, we shall get the first question to begin. Question says, in each of questions 29, I mean 26 to 28, choose the word that does that does not have the same vowel sound as the others. We have the 20, number 26. So, um, which choose 26 to. Okay, number 26. Number 26 says we have. Hey, the one that, that doesn't have the same power sound. Hey, we have L O O T. B, we have. A. B, we have B O O T. Sorry. And C, we have. R U T and R O U T D we have R O U T E for us to get this question I mean this the answer the right answer to this question we first of all pronounce each of them and then after the pronunciation we get the answer and we begin to analyze in the first one, which is 26, we have lutes. Then in the B, we have boots. In the C, we have routes. In the D, we have roots. In American English, we can also call this route. So the answer, since this one has long pusam, and in American English, we can also say it has our sound. But we don't consider American English. So here we have our sound. Here we have long u sound. And here we have long u sound. So the only one that is different from the others is C because it has the our sound, whereas others have uh, the u sound. Let's analyze more critically. So if we transcribe here, we have Lutes. Lutes. Here we have boots. Here we have crowds. Here we have roots. We can call it crowds. So it's clear that the answer is a C. The number 27. We have A as sum. I'm sorry for pronouncing it. B as S H U N B. C as S O N B. D as S S H O R T K we pronounce as to get the answer before we analyze. We have this as we call it sum. 
this is shine, this is sun, this is short. And the question is still, the question still says, choose the word that has, choose the word that doesn't have the same four sun as the others or as the rest. So if you look at the sun, we have the pronunciations. In A we have sun, here we have shine, here we have sun, here we have short. We give short usam, I mean silent usam, I mean silent osam, sorry, forgive me. Silent osam, silent osam, silent osam, or long or sound. The answer then becomes B. In full transcription, we have sound. Sound. And this one has short. If you like, you put R. So the answer is uh, D. You get that? The answer is D. Number 28. A is D. Sorry for pronouncing. B is L E A S E. C is M E E T. And D is L A. C E O oh. If you pronounce we have D We have leaves We have meats We have lace Okay, in the transcriptions here uh, Mini transcription we have As given Long E sound Long E sound Long E sound And A diphthong Which is a sound. The only different answer or option is D, and that makes it the answer. Now we, we have a full transcription of all the words. In A we have deep. In B we have leaves. In C we have meat and in D we have lace okay number 29 is a different kind of question or pattern of question it says uh, from this uh, I mean from number 29 it says in each of questions 29 to 31 choose from the options the word that has the same sound. Choose from the options the word that has the same vowel sound as the one represented by the letters on the line. The one that has the same vowel sound as the one italicized. That is what it means. So the word given is plateau. And E A U is on the line. So we have option A as W A N T E D. In B we have
D E L O W. C. We have H O L I D A Y. And D, we have H A U N T E D. That is. Okay, we're going to pronounce so as to get the answer before we, we analyze. Here we have Plato. I need to transcribe the word. This is simply write Plato. It's the case in the video. American English is stress pause here. For British it falls here, so we can leave the stress for now. Okay, this is O on the line. Right here we have the word wanting. This is oh sorry. Forgive me. It's a mistake. Wanting. Short O sound, short E sound. Here we have below. Here we have holiday. So this is short O sound, short E sound, diphthong A, and then here we have long O sound and E short E sound. If we look through the options that are here, the only one that has the same sound or vowel sound actually as the one italicized is below and that is option B it makes it the answer if we may transcribe all of them maybe we will not continue with that system but for the sake of uh, better understanding let's just do this one that's good so we have one T transcribed as one T then below transcribed as Below. Here, holiday transcribed as holiday. Hunting transcribed as hunting. Our answer is B. Then 20, I mean, sorry, 30. Question 30, we have the word research. E A R on the line. We can transcribe as research. So we underlined and we take options A to D. A says A is D I S T U B, I mean T U R B. B is C O M F O R T. C is C is A F F A I R and D is C A R R Y. So we're going to pronounce the words before we choose our option as usual and then we transcribe if we have the time. So we took the first one is disturb, disturb. So we have short E sound here and the long S sound. If you like, you place the R. We come here, we have the silent O sound. But here, the silent R sound with an R, if you like. So here we have the silent R sound and then, sorry, the diphthong air. If you like, you place 
PR bracket. Then here we have the short R sound. Short R sound. So from these options, it's easy to note that the correct option is A because it has a long S sound as in the given a word research. Okay. If you maybe with this this may be the last one we're gonna transcribe. So let's transcribe them. We have this ter if it's a verb, this ter. Then comfort. Comfort or fair carry. The last number, go. Oh, is it the last number? Yeah. The last number here is. Rocks, I mean number 31, which leaves us with the word I U S T, rust. We have you on the land, and then we transcribe it as rust. Option A. L-O-U-D Option B T-O-U-C-H Option C B-O-U-G-H-T And option D Is M-A-R CH. Now we look at the words. We're looking for the silent or sound. Ah, so here we have loud out sound. Here we have touch. Here we have bought, bought, long or sound. And here we have March. Like it. Place the R. So from this, our answer is this. I hope the class was wonderful. We were able to learn some things. Um, I would like to use this opportunity to invite you once again to our YouTube channel. In case you have not subscribed, there are a lot of things that are going on in this channel that you are missing. I would advise that you do that right away for better learning processes. Thank you very much for watching. And welcome back to our studies on the test of orals and then we are still classifying of how we can answer questions that arise from the lower sounds. And the year we are looking at on the jam class questions is Year 20,000, I mean, year 2000, forgive me. So we have questions 20, 26 to 30 to analyze, 31 to 32, 33 to 36, and 37 to 38. And we begin, we have them, some of them here on the board already. So we shall begin with the first one, which is 26. The word written is B O A T pronounced as boat and transcribed thus we have it as this so we begin with our transcription so we'll be able to get to know the actual vowel sound we're talking about and how to get the right option the options we have here from A to D are option A Board transcribed as long or sound. 
for the first one. So in option B we have bolt, also long or sound. In C we have go, all sound. That is a thumb. And then in In D we have the long rhythm. So if we go through these options, we'll be able to see that the only option that meets our requirement or has the same vowel sound as the one in option, I mean the main word here both is option C because it has the O sound. That is why it's the correct answer. Let's transcribe the first ones. I mean, the, all the options that are here completely. Maybe if we don't have time, we'll not be able to transcribe with us. But if we do have time, we'll do that. So we take number one, that is up. option A, board as. That's all, board. So simple. Go as go. Glory as glory. Okay, we come to question number 27. And the word we have there is air. So we underline all of the letters that we transcribe as this. this is a deep thumb. We can start from the last one. We take I is a deep thumb. I that is fire. If you like, we put the A. In the C option, we have here. This is a deep thumb. Here. In B option we have her. This is a, a long the long S sound. And then in the A option we have air. So from the options we can see clearly that the right option is A because it has the same vowel sound as a air uh, in number 27. So we go to number 28. We have the word pleasure. Transcribed as sorry, pleasure. So the the sound on the line is E, the short E sound. Pleasure, pleasure. So we now have in options A to D, which one will meet the same sound or will have the same sound as E? We take the first one, option A, which is pliable. This is ply, ply here. Then there is no other. Vowel sound. Pleats. Long is sound. Clean ring. Okay, this may have this here. Then, jet to D. If we look through, the only one that has the sound is jeopardy because we have the short A sound in the word when we pronounce it. So it's the right option. We pronounce the words pliable, pleats, plenary, and jeopardy. We are back. So in number 27, I mean 29, we have thunder. The word thunder is transcribed. And this is the word underlined. 
may base the sound on the line. Silent as sound. In this word, we have pre and fur. Long S sound. Here we have short E sound. Silent as sound. Here we have silent as sound. And long S sound. Here we have short E sound and long S sound. We are going to look at this question critically in order to get the right option. The word here is thunder, and as transcribed, we have the th sound, silent or sound, the sound, the sound, silent or sound. So in this word, we have in option A, prefer, it's out of it. Option B has the sound. But the same thing also occurs in option C. So in actual sense, options A and B are correct. It should be a typing error. So in number 30, we have the word here, and we have ending there, showing that it's a noun. The word here is complex somehow, in that it can be transcribed in two ways. When it's a verb, we transcribe it as air, with an R there, I mean, sorry. We transcribe it as air. And then, when it's a noun, as in the one given, we transcribe it as here. Here. So, the one we are given here is here. Therefore, we have here in option A. There. In option B, care. In option C, here. And in option D, where. So all of these can take R if we wish. Check it critically. It's option C that has the same vowel sound as the one given in number 30. And that makes it our correct answer. So, that is the end of uh, our today's class on the, the vowel sounds. I mean, revisiting or rehearsing past questions, jump past questions on the, our vowel sounds. We are going straight into the consonant sounds and we are going to look at only two questions for today because of our timing, so that next time we can have time, enough time, ample time to review a variety of questions on the, the consonant sounds. We are only going to take year 2000 jam questions, year 2000 questions uh, 31 and 32. So we start with 31. The word we have here is thoughts, transcribed as Given here, thoughts. Simple. Then here we have theater. Theater. Oh, we are not transcribing the vowel sounds. Forgive me. So we have th and t. Here we have t and t. That is thoughts. Here we have war and the. Here we have full and two. I want to give full transcription after we have chosen the right answer. Remember the underlined 
range of letters is TH, which gives us Th. And from the options, D does not have the Th sound. Rather, we have four and T as the consonant sounds. Then C does not have the Th sound. We have what and Th, I mean the sound. This is the Th sound. Then B does not have the the, uh, the, the the sound. What we have here is t all through. And then in A, in A we have the, the sound. So theater. That gives us uh, the answer we're looking for. In further transcription we have theater. This is fate. Fate. So this is theater, thoughts, weather, and fate. Number 32, where we are going to stop for today. We have caliph transcribed as and the underlined sound is for. So we have in option A, per, that is presently, presently, so per, z, n, t. But these are the consonants that are here. So if we check the sound we are giving is and the only word that has it, the only option that has it is C. That makes it the correct answer. If we give the full transcription, we take O opponent. Perhaps. And presently. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, this is where we bring our class for today to a close. I, at this point, urge you once again to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Noble High YouTube Class.